How's it going guys? Tim Shields here, U-Ball CEO. We real quick wanted to just walk you through the basic U-Ball setup process. The first time or two you might feel a little clumsy doing it, but by the third try it'll feel pretty natural. Usually we recommend setup being a two person job and one person does the ground screw while the other person sets up the hoop. Obviously you can do one person if you prefer. It usually it takes about uh, five minutes or so when you have a two person job. When it's one person it takes more like 10 minutes to set up. So setting up U-Ball is really two parts. Part one is setting up the ground screw and then part two is actually assembling the hoop. And so the first step of setting up the ground screw is actually finding the right spot. This is a really important step that'll just save you a ton of time and energy. And so what you do is you use this L bar to test how deep does, does it go into the ground. And so usually you want it to be able to go about three quarters deep, which is what we get here. And so this tells me this is actually a good spot. So now that we've found the spot, the next step is actually putting the ground screw in. So I'm gonna take it out of the pad and then from there initially put it in with my hands. So when I put it in with my hands, I'm gonna turn it till about the threads are just, just below the surface. And then from there, I'll use, I'll use the L bar to screw it in from there. So as you're screwing it into the ground, the key really is using your body weight. When you're, when you're screwing it into the ground on grass, you can kind of just turn it and the threads will catch. But when you're doing it on sand, it really is important to use your body weight. If you just simply turn it without putting your body weight on, it's really not gonna go into the ground that well. Okay, so you wanna screw it in until at least the red line is below the surface. Once you get it to the red line, it's gonna be pretty solid. And, and the most important thing um, when talking about the ground screw is this is by far the most important step. If you do this the wrong way, the hoop's not gonna be stable if you, if you don't really take the time and effort to do it right. So once you've screwed it into the ground, you feel it's solid. The way to test and make sure that it's solid is something we call the kick test. It's as simple as you just get your toe and you sort of nudge it with your foot. And if you're nudging it it, 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 it stays firm, you know it's ready to go. And then once it's past the kick test and it's good to go there, the last part is if you're playing on sand, is to just pack the sand to the top, just give a little last piece of stability. So part two is actually assembling the hoop. So the first step of assembling the hoop is connecting the rim pole and backboard. And so we custom made this backboard to have a simple rim pole connection. So first, you put the pole on, and then from there, throw this rim on. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it a little bit to get them to line up correctly. But then you just push it in. So once you connect the rim to the backboard, then you tighten the two knobs. You put the two knobs in and then you tighten them. And the key is to tighten them as much as you possibly can so there's no wiggling at all. So once you've tightened the rim fully where it's not wiggling at all, uh, the last piece is just simply setting it to the height that you want. So you can make it all the way up to eight and a half, wherever you prefer. So now that we set it to the height we want, we simply throw it on the ground screw that we had initially set up. So once you throw it on, you tighten these three knobs that'll be attached at the bottom. So once you tighten the three knobs at the bottom, what you do is you put the two pads on. You put the ground screw pad on at the bottom, and then you do the pull pad. So now you have a fully assembled U-Ball hoop and are ready to go. 